You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Speed. Everybody running. In today's show, we're joined by two very special West Ham heroes joining us to watch our West Ham women's take on Reddit in the WSL. First up, in a recent poll, he was voted West Ham's top 10 most memorable moments when he scored the winning goal that will stop Manchester United from winning the Premier League. But unfortunately, he was also voted top 10 disappointments when we were relegated the same year. But above all else, he's an all-time favourite of ours. Please welcome Kenny Brown. Then our Kenny is joined by a true Upton Park favourite. He came all the way through the West Ham Academy and played for the first team under Billy Bonds. And according to Wikipedia, in his prime, he could outsprint a greyhound over 50 metres. Welcome West Ham legend Stuart Slater. Hiya. Yeah, you will. I'll see you. Behind the goal or down the side? No, we're down the side, but we outshouted the Arsenal fan. Uh, I don't know. Go and do a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You told me about her, didn't you? Yeah. She's good. Great save, that was. How do you think the start's been all right? It can, been, you've been, yeah, we start well, haven't we? Yeah. We've had a lot of chances, especially from Claudia. She's yeah. um, number nine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some good players already. Crossing. Yes! Yeah. yeah, great play. Won it. Yeah, great play. I talked about the wingers, Ken, there. The wingers getting down to the byline. Defenders not yeah, facing their own goal. I felt like a white man just saved the ball away. Yeah. Trying to play quick and heavy, aren't they? You want to yeah. touch little combinations? The West West Ham way. What do you think of the atmosphere at the women's game? It's it's, um, it's more relaxed. Yeah. I think that is a, and I think that's the way they want it. You know, I think it's uh, very inclusive. It's very inclusive, isn't it? Mm. That's the impression I get. I don't get to. I haven't been to obviously many. I did a couple of seasons ago. Um, when they were playing at Rush Green. Oh, right, yeah. When I watched a couple there, but there wasn't really a crowd there. No, not really. Um, obviously, nothing like, like there is today. Yeah, it has um, improved massively. But there is that real, it's just like you're coming just to, for the atmosphere and to, yeah. to take in a game. And it's, I think it's, it's really nice, nice and relaxed. Um, yeah, I, I agree with Ken. Um, it's like a sort of little family, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, very much so. Yeah. Speaking to some of the ladies before, as we, we saw, um, there's some really committed fans here that, yeah. you know, they live, they live again for, for their football, their ladies' football. And like I said, it's, it's a community spirit and, and the way they, you know, the way, the way they want to build on it even more, don't they, and make it bigger and... And that family, I mean, yeah, the family spirit. It is nice and relaxed and, and uh, you know, they've come here to support support their team. Win, lose or draw, they're, they're here every single... Um, yeah. yeah. Strength, oh, no, oh.
And do you think this is encouraging more women to take up the sport and to... Yeah. Have you seen it grow over the years that you've been yeah, going? Because at the start, it was like, it wasn't very big. But now, like today, like there's so much more people and like so much more atmosphere yeah. again. No! Oh. Oh. Great cross. Yeah! <laughs> we got that one. That one, Ken. We got, I could see it. That's a great finish, isn't it? Right. Great cross. Okay, I thought she might. Yeah. Brilliant. I thought she was going to. committed they are. Yeah. Brilliant. Great art. Yeah, very good. So this is the half-time quiz of our legend, Kenny Brown. So let's go. No. How many teams have you played for in your career? Off the top of my head, I believe it's around 10 or 11. 17. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Right, go on then, name them. How many games, <laughs> how many games did you play for West Ham? Um, I think in total, it was around about 80 something. 63. How, no, many, <laughs> how many goals did you score for West Ham? Five. Six. Six. Who did our goalkeeper Ludo not make in the run up to your goal against Man City? Oh my God, yeah, because I've seen this recent. Go give me a clue. Um, C. 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 <laughs> no, go on, tell me. Colin Hendry. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, I'll take that word. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> How many assists did you get from Stuart Slater? Oh, uh, if you, well, if you are, it all depends. If you ask, if you ask Chopper, then all of them. <laughs> um, even though he'd left the club for the last three, three of them goals. Um, but no, I think he assisted in three of them. It was two point five. The point two, five is oh. for the Man U goal. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to do with it really. Yeah, apart from putting a poor cross in. Um, <laughs> You played with Ian Dowie and Steve Jones at West Ham, but who scored more goals for the Hammers? It must be Ian Dowie, surely. No. Really? Steve, yeah. With how many goals was that? Steve had 14 and then 13. Oh, right. Oh, well done, Jamal. You played 45 games for Millwall and scored zero goals. <laughs> Does that make you happy or sad? Um... Well, sad. I obviously didn't no, didn't happy. add to we my title. Like but... <laughs> we don't like Millwall. Oh, okay. How much did Birmingham City pay for you in January? Um, I think it was about twenty five grand. Seventy five grand. Oh, was it seventy five grand? Mm. That's cheap. Oh, that, that, that's cheap. <laughs> you played for Norwich. You had a bit of a Freddie Mercury tash going on. What bet did you lose? <laughs> what was that last week? What bet did you lose? No. I think it was I was ahead of the game because obviously now in November, um, so I started it. But you're right, I, I did. It was it was a bad. I was young and not and uh, naive at the time, so right. um, I can't make any excuses otherwise. Other than you know, it was just a poor choice for me. So Kenny, out of ten questions, you got a whopping zero, just like how you scored in Millwall. Did you get one right at <laughs> me? No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So this is our half-time quiz with Stuart Slater, best out of ten. Let's hope you can do better than Kenny with a whopping zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> try. So, first question. How many games did you play for West Ham? 179. 141. Ooh, <laughs> it's at cup games as well. Who was your first manager at Ipswich Town? Yeah, legendary John Lyle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. How many assists did you give Ken Kenny Brown at West Ham? I'm going to go for three. 2.5. <laughs> um, how many sitters did you give him that he missed? Two. Too many to count. <laughs> 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 In 1992, how much did Celtic buy you from West Ham? 1.5? 5 what? Yeah, 1.5 yeah. million, yes. Yes. You played with Billy Bonds, Julian Dix and tough guy Kenny Brown. Who would be the most upset if you gave them a dodgy pass? I think all of them. All of them would, really. Um, I think Kenny was quite relaxed in, in the aspect that 
I tried to pick him out. I think Billy Bonds, he set, set the tone and set a real high standard, but I think I would go for Julian Dix because I think I played on his side and if he made an overlapping run and I didn't use him, he'd go nuts at me. So I'd say Julian Dix. But Stuart Slater never made a dodgy pass. <laughs> <laughs> I never passed, I don't think. I needed a ball for myself. How many goals did you score for West Ham? Not enough. That's what people would say, definitely. Um, in between 15 and 20, would it be? No, it was 11. 11 all! Who gave you the nickname Chopper and why? I know who definitely gave it to me. It was Paul Hilton. Um, Paul Hilton and me, we were doing a man-to-man -man, um, keep ball and I was paired against him. And I wasn't really renowned for my tackling. I was renowned for, you know, running with the ball. <laughs> and Paul Hilton got the ball and I took him out because it was competitive and John Lyle made this really competitive <laughs> when we got beat. Um, and I took him out and he's going, I thought you were a skillful player, you know, you weren't one of them, you just chopped me out. So he nicknamed me Chopper afterwards. All oh, right. For Western Supermare, which club did you score your last ever league goal against? Conference South team. No. No? It was Bishop Stortford. Oh, Bishop Stortford. Yeah. Oh, I neck of the woods, up this way. Mm. Okay, last question, true or false? Alex Ferguson wanted to buy you at Manchester. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Five out of ten. Oh, did better than I'll, Kenny, I'll, though. I'll, I'll take that, thank you very much. <laughs> Five out of ten. But once again, I think I need to learn a little bit more about myself than, yeah. <laughs> than normal. <laughs> so, Julie, what did you think of your performance today? Um, well, this is a bit of a tough question to ask <laughs> after the game. Um, yeah, I think I mean I think I had an okay performance personally. Um, also, I think it's disappointing when you can see the goal mm. anyway because I think naturally as a defender you would you feel it like it's your responsibility. What you oh, what right. could have you done more? Um, but yeah, I think I would have probably felt a little bit better had we come away with the three points today. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So do you like playing against Reading? Yeah, I think I think Reading are a hard team to come against. They're very organised. They're very disciplined, um, and they keep going to the to the final whistle. It's something that's really costing us um, this season and probably last as well is that we're allowing teams to come into the game and still get points um, late on in the game as well. Yeah. Yeah, Julie, it was my first game, women's game today. Um, obviously, former player here. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with the standard, really surprised at the standard. Um, obviously, disappointed to, to lose the, um, the, the two, two goals. Um, we were just talking about it earlier on, the camaraderie between the players and the girls at the minute. Is that strong? Yeah, we, we've got a good group. Um, I think last year we had a couple of difficult times throughout the season. Um, obviously, it was well documented as well in our documentary that we've done. Um, and if you're looking at it, probably the players that we had last year were very good players that ended up moving on. Um, and the players we've got this year, it's more about the team side of it, you know, the values, the the way we are off the pitch. I think that's so important and I think it shows in the way we're playing uh, collectively in the games. Um, but yeah, no, we're a good group and there's no, the, the thing that really, um, one of my bugbears in football is egos, you know, and I, I can't, I can't stand it. So for me, it's so good that we've got humble girls in there and there's no one here who thinks they're bigger than a team in the club. Brilliant. Yeah, there's no wind-ups like Kenny Brown. He's been trying to wind me up all day today. Yeah. Making it so <laughs> easy for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, is there a sort of bit of banter -ish still going on? Or obviously, that's changed a little bit, obviously, with some foreign girls coming in as well. I yeah, mean, no. they probably don't get the humour that you yeah, guys... Yeah, you have to, um, especially with the, the foreign players, I have to talk a lot slower. Um, so <laughs> jokes I don't even try and do or anything like that sure. because it's just... My uh, my streak Craig, just goes down the pan when they don't laugh. So um, yeah, but we have. I mean, I'm I'm quite um, in the group always. Like I know certain players there are to wind up. Uh, Mel Phyllis, I love winding her up because she just bites straight away. <laughs> um, but no, we do have it obviously, and players as well who have come with us, especially like youngsters who have come to us, who are now coming out of their shell and being the ones who are giving it as well to senior players. Sure, like it, um, it keeps you on your toes as well, especially me. It's important, yeah. yeah. It's important. Yeah, well, that, uh, all I was going to ask, like <laughs> following on really from that, is I've watched like women's football on and off for you know last probably two three years. Is that how you can see from the outside how it's evolved, and obviously everybody it's well documented now with Sky being involved. Has it evolved within a club, and from obviously the, your time at West Ham, so from probably over the last three four years to where you are now, do you see it being a 
a massive progression and what are the biggest changes, I suppose, um, from within, within inside a club. Yeah, I think, you know, if you, you have players now who come to us, for example, I'll give you Lisa Evans, who come from Arsenal um, on loan. And the first thing she did when she turned up, she was like, I can't believe the facilities that you have. Obviously, we, we share Chadwell um, with yeah. the, the boys, but we have our own women's section. We go in, you've got big women's, uh, West Ham women's in lettering. Like, um, we've got our own change room. We've got like hot and cold baths. Like, and when we first come in, we was over at Rush Green in portal cabins, um, yeah. and it was alright in the summer, but in the winter it was absolutely freezing. <laughs> there was no heating, um, and we obviously trained on the the Rush Green pitch, obviously where we played our games. Where yeah. now we've got two, three pitches to choose from, um, and obviously then we've now here moved to Dagenham and. Obviously, last year the pitch weren't the greatest, but then investment from the league um, and from the club and that, you've probably got one of the best services now in the league no, um, in regards to it. So, yeah, it's huge and it's exciting. I think, obviously, I'm 30 now, so time's not really on my side. But I think if you're coming in the game now, you're 22, 23, it's so exciting now for a player yeah. to see where it, the change it's made in three, four years. It's exciting to see where it's going to be in four, five, six years' time. Yeah, great. Totally, yeah, yeah, great. Brilliant. Fantastic. Mm. Hopefully I can get a six-year deal or something. <laughs> 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 Who have we got to speak to? Yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you need characters like yourself, obviously, as I said, that's important, you know, obviously for the young girls to come through and, and, and look at aspiring. For me, when I was playing for the young groups, we had Alvin Martin and Tony Gale, who were quite yeah. funny and, and put you... I mean, you need those sort of characters in the team as well. Yeah, and, and one of the girls shot me down. Uh, we played Arsenal in... Uh, last Sunday and we walked in the stadium and one of the girls was like oh do I remember sitting in the stand watching you play for Arsenal at the time and I was like how old were you she was like I was 10 I was like Ollie get her out of here <laughs> but no it is it's good it's especially when when times like this today like for me it feels like a loss like that's just yeah. as a professional you know um but you know when you're going there tomorrow there's not going to be like pointing fingers and clicks or nothing like that we've got a game to focus on on Wednesday night and yeah if I'm get around each other and make sure anyone who's feeling down or low and that we bring them up with us brilliant yeah fantastic brilliant. Well, that's great. wish you all the best thank anyway. you very brilliant. much thank yeah you. good luck on Wednesday thank you, good luck, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. superb thank you we are giving away this retro shirt signed by Kenny, Stewart and Jilly. All you need to do is answer this question. Who was our captain in the FA Cup final in 2018 for the women's team? Put your answers in the comments down below. Good luck!